Have you ever wondered what banjo strings should I be using? Well, I'm going to tell you everything you want to know about banjo strings. First thing you've got to do is pick out the correct set of strings for your specific banjo. Meaning, are you playing a five string banjo or plectrum banjo, a tenor banjo, a ukulele banjo, or are you playing a six string banjo? Each of those will have a specific number of strings, scale lengths, and how they attach to the tailpiece. But in this video, all I'm going to be talking about is the five string banjo. Now, let's start with the string gauges. Extra light, light, light plus, medium light, and medium. And the only difference in all of those is the gauge of each individual string. And truly, you could probably simplify all those down into light strings and medium strings because all the light strings are pretty much the same except maybe one or two strings have different gauges on those strings. So let's take a look at the light gauge strings from two popular brands, GHS and D'Addario. The GHS light strings are a part number PF150, which is a phosphor bronze string. The only reason it's called phosphor bronze is because the four strings is wound with it. The light strings in GHS are a 10, 12, 14, 22, and 10. For the Deodario, which is a part number EJ69, that's their phosphor bronze equivalent to the GHS, is a 9, 11, 13, 20, and 9. So as you can see, both of these are considered light strings, but all the string gauges are completely different. Most manufacturers have recommendations on what strings you should use on your particular banjo, but you may have to do a little experimenting to figure out what gauges kind of suit you. And I'll give you some pros and cons of using light strings. Some of the pros of a light string is they're easier to fret. They're easier to bend when you're bending a string. They make a clearer sound. <laughs> The cons of a light string are they will not stay in tune as well. You'll have a much better chance of breaking a string. If you play with low action on your neck, they have a better chance of buzzing. You'll have to raise your action a little bit if the string buzzes. Now let's talk about the different types of strings. You have phosphor bronze, you have nickel plated, and you have stainless steel, and you have nylon. Now with the nylon, I'll get more into towards the end of this video, but for right now, I'm gonna stick to the other three. The phosphor bronze, as I said before, they use it to wound around the fourth string. So this gives these strings more of a warm, low end sound. I know people that love the way it makes the banjo sound, and other people, say it makes it feel unbalanced. It's a trial and error whether you like it or not. The nickel plated is a good bright tone. Seems to be the most common used on bluegrass banjo. And then the stainless steel, which is the best at resisting corrosion. They seem to last a little longer than the nickel plated string does. It's probably the brightest sounding string of the three. And then there's also some strings that they coat with a polymer to increase the life of the string. And the same with all the rest of them. I know people that love those and I know people that absolutely despise them. I personally don't like them, but to each his own. Now for the nylon strings, which are mainly used on banjo ukuleles or some old time banjos, these strings are very warm sounding, but they lack the brightness that steel strings provide. So how often should you change your banjo strings? I change my banjo strings every four to five months, depending on how much I play or how much I have my hands up and down the strings. But a couple of factors that will speed up or slow down that process are how much you play and how oily or sweaty your hands are. So what strings do I use on my banjo? Well, on my Resonator banjo, I use stainless steel light strings for that bright, crisp sound. And on my claw hammer banjo, I use the phosphor bronze light strings because it gives me more of that old timey banjo sound. 